Good morning, good morning, America. I'll leave me down with another class in session live with you from my humble abode and uh, from a different part of the house right now. Um, I got to do better lighting. I can give you that, but we will. But I wanted to just sit here because it's early in the morning. It's fresh and uh, I am in my office. Uh, Tarkan 3485. Good morning. Wherever you are from, let us know. We'd love to uh, give you some uh, credit feedback, uh, Hurry Bon, where are you hopping on from? Good morning, Facebook. I see everybody getting on. Um, so we do this every single morning at 8.30 a.m. It's all generic. Uh, we do not talk about any product, service, company, or anything of that nature. Uh, let me see. This will make it better. Darker. Maybe. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? How you doing? Good morning, good morning. It's awesome seeing you all. So we're about to hop on, on a nice journey together. We're going to talk about Mindset Sunday. Yesterday we had our very first 45 minute, 45 minute class. It was incredible yesterday. Uh, we did a recap and it was awesome. Good morning. Uh, how you doing? Good morning. I see the hearts. Periscope, you guys are alive today. Wow, that's incredible. Last night, man, I had to like work hard for it. Good morning, Alejandra. Hello, hello. Good morning, Nasreen, Ben. Good morning, everybody. So um, we do this every single morning. I'm Ali Medawi, founder and CEO of Medawi Enterprise. And um, I, I like to uh, do uh, uh, generic coaching and classes every single morning at no cost. So you hop on in here. Uh, and I give you the goodies, right, uh, of how I've built businesses in seven countries, including the states in 27 states. I'm a published author of a book called The Lion Network Marketer, which is right here. It's in stores right now. Um, you can actually just find it at thelionnetworkmarketer.com. Uh, congrats to um, uh, Jane and uh, John Smith, who we gave them uh, free copies uh, today, actually yesterday and the day before which was pretty, pretty awesome. So uh, if you don't know how to use Periscope or if you are just awesome, swipe from the left to the right or swipe up if you're an Android and give us a share to your Twitter followers, to your uh, uh, um, Periscope uh, followers and friends. Just understand if you're watching this on Twitter, which many of you do every, every single day, uh, it's unfortunate because you can't give any hearts and you can't comment. Hello, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I have to do a class as much as I want to talk and conversate with you. I definitely have to do a class. Uh, but anyhow, so as you're inviting your friends, we're going to be uh, coaching and giving them some goodies. So today we're going to talk about the difference between a champion and a fan. And, and the reason I want to talk about this topic, if you think about it, um, let's let's talk about, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, as much as I want to have a chit chat with you, I really, really have a responsibility to the masses they're watching. So I'll definitely chat with you afterward, all right? Uh, hit me, hit me up on Twitter. We can, we can have a a, a message uh, conversation. I love people. She's awesome. Gotta guess, gotta gotta follow her. So so, <laughs> all right. So I'm sorry. I try to be nice, but okay. She wants to flirt, and like my wife and I are pretty awesome together. So I can't be flirting. But thank you. I'm pretty awesome. I feel good. I like it. Um, hello Ben. How you doing? So the Olympics are on right now, um, and, and they come every single four years, just like the World Cup, just like any sporting event, right? And um, the interesting thing is, you know, those players, right, or those athletes, you, you, you see them once in a while. You don't really see them, like, that often, uh, which means you don't really see how much hard work goes into what they're doing, you know? And the truth of the matter is there's always 50, 60, 70,000 fans that are watching, screaming, chanting, and cheering, but then there's that one athlete in that one lane that they are running. And you got to understand the mindset. See, the athlete does not do it for the cheering and for the fans. They do it because they have some personal goals that they have set for themselves to achieve certain things that they made it a life goal for themselves, right? Uh, and they did it for a bigger, better reason. They did it for the honor for their country. They did it for the cause. They did it for a mission to set their families and generations after them. But the fan goes for the sake of entertainment for themselves, for a feel good. And, and why am I even talking about this? Because I want you to understand in the business world, the question you should ask yourself, are you a fan or a player? And what I mean by that, so you all go to seminars every now and then, and you're sitting down and you hear that one speaker, that top earner, top producer. See, that's a player. 
See, they worked every single day, just like an athlete. They worked out every single day. They had their routine every single day. They had their meal plans every single day. They had their uh, meditation. They had their 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 um, reading process. They studied film. They tried again. They failed, and they tried again. And for four years in preparation for the Olympics, they fail and fail and fail and fail again. But the fan did not practice at all. They just waited for that event, for uh, the Olympics, to sit down and watch and say, yay, that was pretty awesome. So I share this with you because in many, many, many events, many seminars that I go to and I speak at, I see many familiar faces. And I usually ask myself, when are they going to step up and become a captain to their team? When are they going to play? Because all that they're doing sometimes, unfortunately, is they're being fans. They're sitting there and clapping for everybody. And the reality is you should be clapped for yourself. You should be the main person that should be out there creating that excitement, having that mission-driven process. You should be the one who takes that business to the next level. You shouldn't have to wait for somebody else to do it for you, right? So champions practice every day, just like in the business world. Champions work their business every single day. Now, what does it mean to work your business? Have an income producing activity, right? Whether you're doing a video, which is really, eh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Making a phone call, acquiring a customer, enrolling a new partner, expanding your business into different places, having a conference call, a three-way call, a, a, a training session, a leadership session, whatever it is, that is an income producing activity. You must do it, but not just whenever you feel like it or whenever you're motivated. Every single day, especially when you don't feel like it. Do you think I feel like doing videos on Sunday? I'd rather have a good time still sleeping. I'd rather just go and join my family and do whatever I want to do. But guess what? I'm a champion. I'm not a fan. I've got to work out my craft every single day. Kobe Bryant, he literally every single day, even in the off season, he went out and he practiced layups over and over and over. Now, do you really think Kobe Bryant needed to practice layups? It's Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest of all time. And he practiced them every single day because you have to work on the basic fundamentals. Where are my champs at? Periscope, y'all there? Y'all got to give me some hearts on this one because I just dropped the mic with that Kobe Bryant statement, right? So a fan only shows up every now and then, right? A fan only wants to eat and sit back and, you know, whenever they feel like it, they'll go to the arena or nine out of ten times, they'll just scream in front of a TV and say, that person didn't do it good or that person didn't do this or this person didn't do that. A fan argues about statistics in irrelevant processes. A fan argues about who's the best player in the world, right? They don't actually, instead of them wasting that conversation and working on themselves, becoming a champion in their own craft, they just talk about everybody else. Man, did you see that speaker? He was so good. No, my favorite is the other speaker because that speaker makes uh, a million dollars more than this one. Ah, uh, man, I think that this one is better than that one, right? It's like the argument who's better, LeBron or Steph Curry. You know, it's incredibly important to understand that you as an individual have to force yourself to become intellectually active, to force yourself to be business active, to force yourself to do whatever it is that is healthy and built for you. So I cannot, cannot stress this enough that you have to do something for yourself today that makes you a champion forever. Stop watching everybody else. Yes, it's great. I watch videos every single day of other speakers. I listen to audios every single day of other speakers. I read every single day. Here, I have it right here. This is what I'm reading right now. This is the third round that I'm reading it, right? So it's incredibly important to understand. It's good to intellectually educate and feed yourself. But at the same time, if you're not doing anything with it, you know, you got you to gotta invest, learn, and then what? Teach. If you're not teaching, if you're not passing it on to everybody else, you're doing everyone else and yourself a disservice. You're being selfish. You know, God has blessed you with some abilities that very few people have. And instead of utilizing it, not only to monetize it, that's the, that's the end outcome, right? But the main thing is to bless other individuals, to help other individuals, to bring the best out of those individuals. But what do you do? You hold on to it on the inside. You hold on to it for yourself. I, I'm not ignoring you. I just got to give everybody the respect. He don't care. Have conversations. I'm sorry. I, I did not read the rest of that. Hey, sorry. I, I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm not selling anything, but I, sorry, guys. You know, I'm not going to give you permission. Respectful. People are incredible, man. They really are. All right. Here we go. We're back.
Sorry about the language that they were using. See, there's only like two or three jerks in the world. They walk around a lot, but you just have to block them out of your life. But anyhow, so it is incredibly important for you to focus on the positive things in life, right? You can't let one knucklehead ruin your day. Um, but, you know, my point is do what's right for you and for others. Don't be selfish with your potential. Don't hurt yourself by withholding and keeping the positivity within within you, right? You have a bigger, better purpose. I don't know what it is, and you're going to have to figure it out and find it on your own. But stop being a fan. Stop cheering for everybody else. Stop clapping for every recognition event that you're at, and you're saying, man, next year will be my year. No, this year is your year. Right now, today, last year was supposed to be your year. The year before that, you said it was going to be your year. But what happened? Why are you withholding? So don't be a fan. Be a champion. I mean, and it's okay if you just want to be a fan, but as long as you know that's what you are. See, many people will talk to everybody else. Oh, I've been in business for six years. No, you have been in the system for six years, but you haven't worked your business for six years. So you can't walk around and tell everybody that I've been in this business for six years or, or a day or a decade or anything like that. And I meet a lot of people. Oh, I've, oh, network marketing. Yeah, I've been in network marketing for 10 years, man. I've been in seven different companies. Oh, wow. So you must be a seven-figure earner. No, no, far from that. Six-figure earner. Nope, not at all. Well, at least you must have some humble success. Not at all. Well, what happened? No, it just wasn't for me. What do you mean it wasn't for you? I worked every single day. I went to every single event. Really? How many customers did you enroll? I wasn't able to. Why not? I'm not sure. Well, you're not even sure what went wrong. So how can you tell me that you actually knew what you were doing? So it's incredibly important for you to identify the income producing activities so you'll be able to practice them like a champion every single day. You know, this is why I highly recommend to everybody, get a coach. And if you can't get a coach, that's okay. Get that mentor that's within your company. Reach out. Trust me. I do complimentary sessions for people all the time on their own companies. I help them out with whatever they need. So make sure you do that, you know, um, and, and I'm not asking for anything back. Well, Periscope, I, I, I'm asking back for hearts, right? That, that, that is what, what gives us that brand equity. But uh, I'm here to let you know that you can do great things. And I'm not saying it just because it's the cliche thing to hear. 14 years ago, man, 14 years ago, I came to the United States from Morocco, North Africa. I was not, you know, the top producer, top earner, no business savvy at all. I was a busboy in TGI Fridays. I said, me no English. I took out trash and washed dishes and cleaned tables every single day. That's what I did 14 years ago, right? I, I did not have any idea of what a business means or what it's going to be or, or anything like that. If you told me 14 years ago that I'll be a published author, God, I'll be laughing at your face. I was miserable. I was doing every wrong habit there was. I was a jerk. I cursed a lot. I treated people bad. I talked with arrogance and cockiness. And as soon as I learned English, it became uh, uh, incredibly cocky because all of a sudden I felt like I got it all. I'm in America and I made it. You know, so it was that journey that has gotten me to where I, I am here now. But I am four. I just got started a year ago, literally, you know, as far as really taking this thing seriously. So uh, I'm building and I'm growing with you in this journey as much as I anticipate that you're going to grow. But do it as a champion. Do not do it as a fan. You know, a fan gets emotionally attached to the process. A fan, when a team loses, they scream and they want to throw things and they, they say, I'm never watching this team again. And they rip their jerseys, right? And then a fan, when their team win next year, they're like, this is the best team ever. So, so don't be that. A champion understands the process. See, when they lose, they say, I've been exposed for where I am right now, but I will work on it to make it better tomorrow. I will not let tomorrow be what it was right now, right? You know, I'm never going to let this team beat me again. And they go back, they study the film, they see what they've done wrong. So do you study yourself when you are in a conference call or you're in a, con a conversation with somebody about your product or your service? Do you actually call and record yourself, you know, and listen to yourself and say, man, I did it completely wrong, you know? Or do you just convince yourself that you're doing the call the right way? You know, because there is a way to make a phone call about a business. There is a way to approach a customer. There is a way that you can text a customer or a prospect. There is a way to do certain things. But are you doing it the right way or are you just BSing yourself and convincing yourself? Because that's what a fan does. A fan makes up stories and convinces themselves of them. A champion takes responsibility. 
You ever see an interview of a coach or a, a, you know a major major NFL player or NBA player when they lose? Do you think they blame? What do they do? Uh, no, we we gotta ex uh, do better, and uh, you know they they definitely got us at the perimeter. They were the better team. They they uh, stopped us from every single angle. We have to do a better job at doing this. We have to do a better job at doing that. We have to do a better job at doing this, so on and so forth. Good morning, Michigan. So they don't walk around and start emotionally just screaming. And if there is that one coach, they end up being the joke of the highlights. And then most likely at the end of the season, they're gone somewhere else. So 100%, I cannot state this enough. Take responsibility and remove all excuses just like a champion. Tell yourself, I am not successful because I have not done anything that I was supposed to do yesterday. But today is a new day. Go to the mirror fire yourself, say you are fired because you did bad over the last 12 months, and then walk out and come back in the bathroom and say, oh, hey, how you doing? Do you look at other ways of making money? You are hired, and higher than yourself. That is you. That is positive. That is entrepreneurial. That does the required activities. Have an accountability partner. Every champion has an accountability partner and a coach. They have a team around them all the time to make sure they do the right things because as human beings, we are always tempted to do the wrong things. We want to eat the bad things. We want to make the wrong things. We, we just want to do it all wrong. That's, they, there's a thrill about that as the human nature, scientifically proven, right? So make sure you have an accountability partner and make sure that you do have also a coach or a mentor in your company or outside your company that is going to keep you going through the right process and i cannot stress that enough you want to be a champion do the required activities you want to be a fan stay doing what you're doing and you're going to enjoy the right too but you just won't have the results of a champion you'll be on you know conventions and regional events clapping for everybody else like i am so motivated this is so good but in reality you're not in a business you're just in a social club so identify the difference are you a business individual or are you a social club member that just goes to events so they can feel good that's what fans do don't go for the feeling go for the championship go for the trophy go for the rewards not for you selfishly speaking but for the people after you so you can show people what is possible so you can motivate so you can inspire so you can bring the greatness out of people and the only way you can do that is being a champion a fan never inspires anything a fan only sparks conversations that are worth nothing they end up costing you as a matter of fact you know it ends up being a beer and an appetizer but a champion create so many more generations of champions they inspire they motivate they bring the best out of people and that's the opportunity and the responsibility that you have within you to make it happen 100 percent yes it is a responsibility whenever you overcome something it becomes a responsibility to tell the world about it you know whenever you overcome whatever it's personal business health whatever you are now a responsible individual that carries a solution for someone else's problem that has the same thing you've gone through i shared my story with so many different people in the past i've had a really really messed up childhood growing up i've been molested as a child my parents divorced unfortunately it led to a messed up messed up childhood we didn't have much you know uh, uh in a third world country in africa and and we were blessed at first but we are here now so things kind of worked out great but whenever i share these things to other people i hear so many people say oh my god i went through the same thing i so if you made it out, I have an opportunity and a chance to make it out too. Yes, you can. You know, if, if I, I went 10 months behind in my mortgage, if I had to downgrade my cars, if I lost everything, you know, a few years back, and I'm talking about didn't even have money to eat, right? When Whenever people say, wow, you got out of it and you made a comeback, so I can too. So that is the opportunity and the responsibility you have. It's far beyond making money. It's getting people out of their financial hole. It's getting people out of their business hole. It's getting people out of their struggle, their, uh, their, their, their inner inefficiencies. And you are the beacon of light that can bring the best, the best out of them. And, you know, I truly believe it. I truly know it for a fact. Uh, and, uh, and, and I, that's my pursuit of happiness, right, is to, to give back to people. That's my purpose. That's my journey. I don't know what's yours. And I truly believe that if you act like a champion on and off the field, you can definitely identify that purpose of life. Does that make sense for everybody on, on, on Periscope? If you do, give us some hearts. Let us know that you are alive. And, and we're gonna, I'm going to tell you how you can actually get a, a, a matter of fact, I'm going to give a book right now. So let's see. Uh, Periscope, I'm going to go back. And he or she who has the most hearts, because I can find you with your username on, on, uh, on, on uh, Twitter. And I'm going to definitely give you... 
uh, a uh, free ebook right now. Uh, so I'm going to give you uh, one minute to get the hearts going because I'm going to go back and track he or she who has the most hearts and I'm definitely giving you a free ebook. Uh, and for you, Facebook, check it out. Here's uh, now you got to be coachable. Hey, Jane, congrats. I, uh, Jane actually won a book um, uh, two days ago and John Smith did as well. So the Lion Network Marketer right now is in storage. It's about network marketing and my journey over the last seven years. And check it out. This book uh, talks and focuses on three things from a real situation. It's all real, factual. It's not, you know, just made up stories. Uh, uh, but it talks about, one, the importance of understanding that network marketing is a profession. It is not a gig. It is not a hobby. It is not a get rich quick. It is not a maybe it will work. Maybe we won't. It's a profession. You have to work it every day. The, the idea of two to three years, two to five years and live in the beaches. Yeah, all right. You, you can get out of your job and be successful, but you still have to work it after those five years. I can promise you that it's a profession. It's worked every single day. There's not one top earner that I've ever met that does not work it every single day. It is like beyond the lie if anybody else tells you that, right? If you walk away, it, it just goes backwards. That That's just the way it is. Now, uh, number two, it focuses on that the truth is good enough. We don't have to hype up network marketing. We don't have to talk about how, you know, oh my God, this company can make you a millionaire. This company can do this. This company can do that. Just be real, be genuine and state the facts because it is good enough. Uh, last but not least, it talks about the importance of leadership development. If you're not developing as a leader, you're not going to attract people. And if you don't attract people, you're not going to be able to build a network. If you don't build a network, you're not a professional network marketer. Right. So that's why it is an educational book from my personal experience. And I'm talking about like real scenarios that I've gone through, real conversations that I've had. And, you know, I put it all out in, in a blunt in your face way. So you have the same fair opportunity that I had because there's so many things that I didn't know about this great profession called network marketing seven years ago that it took me seven years to figure it out and get my life to where it is right now. So I'm trying to shrink up that process. Uh, you can find it at thelionnetworkmarketer.com. That is thelionnetworkmarketer.com. Uh, but uh, for you, Facebook, one, you got to share this video, right? That's number one. Number two, uh, if you have three, and it's got to be genuine, three people comment on it. So one, you share it, and then once that third person comments on it, uh, for the first person who has that done, uh, you will begin a, uh, a code, which I have it in the back of the card. I'm not going to show you right now, uh, which will give you your ebook version of the book today. And for you, Periscope, I don't know who the blue hearts are, uh, but sorry if you are watching this on Twitter. Obviously, this is why I say like it's definitely much better to be on, on Periscope because you can interact and give hearts. Um, I'll give you another 30 seconds, uh, Periscope. The most hearts that I see, I am going to uh, get that person on Twitter because of their username that I will see, and I will send you the code to get your free ebook for my book, The Lion Network Marketer. For everything else, you can go to workwithali.com. That is workwithali.com uh, for to see all the interviews that I've done uh, for all the publications from ne uh, Networking Times Magazine. I just did an interview um, with uh, Innovator Magazine, which was pretty awesome, and I, I'm not sure when it's going to come out, but when it does, you'll have it. Uh, next weekend, I'll be speaking at the Academy, uh, Breakthrough Academy Live with Bob Heilig, Ray Higdon, uh, Nadia Melton, John Melton, Simon Chan, and so many other ones. Um, and then I'll be announcing there's another event that I'm uh, uh, going to be speaking at uh, in October and so many different things that are happening. So make sure uh, that you connect with me on social media, anywhere that is. Let me know how I can be of service. And let's make the world a better place through being champions, through uh, uh, um, acting with the right morals the right way on and off the field when people are watching and when they're not. And guess what? When you're on Facebook and you're posting about things that are not that are personal to you, trust me, you're being judged by that. So, so many people are posting negative things at times thinking that I have the right to, to, to you know, just be myself. That's great and all, but you're repulsing certain groups of people. So just remember that. That might hurt you. Anyhow. Thank you so much. The Lion Network Marketer now on uh, uh, online and in stores. Uh, you can just go to thelionnetworkmarketer.com and you can get the information for it. Until mañana, America. I'll see you all later. And one of you is about to get a book soon. Take care.